How do you feel about the whole Chloe Moritz thing? I just don't feel like it's real because, you know, you look around and it kind of seems normal. And where I live, like, the supermarkets are fairly empty, but it's not like it's gone crazy. Like, it's just kind of... I just kind of feel like I just want everything to go back to normal, you know, being trapped in your house for, like, months. It feels a bit like a like... dream that you haven't really woken up from properly. Like, because it just... We're history in the making. Like, it's literally people going to be talking about this in years. Like, we're going to be telling our grandkids it's going to be taught in history lessons and we're just living it. Like, it's sort of reminding me of, like, how in, like, World War Two and stuff, they probably had no idea how big it would be and they just knew that war was at break and now we just know that we're not allowed out of our houses, but... We don't know. It's really like misty. We don't really know what's happening properly. I'm so happy that they. <laughs> <laughs> it's just made Wait, you. I know, but it's made me look. My ears are going red. I've got all hot <laughs> and blushed. It feels really, really good because my, they're going to use our predicted grades, hopefully, which is better than what I would have got because my grades are really, really low. Yeah. Well, everybody was crying and really upset because they're not going to see any of their teachers ever again, and they're not going to have any more lessons in the school again, no more uniform, and we're missing out on our leavers hoodies, we're missing out on signing our t-shirts and like our prom and our yearbook and stuff, but I wasn't thinking about any of that, I was just thinking I never want to ever go back to that school ever again, because I really hate school. It would have been better so, if we knew that it was our last day in the morning, so we could have treated it differently, and usually, we all expected to have tomorrow, yeah, and then we found out after school that it was our last day. And usually on your last day you've done like exams like you've done so much you feel all this relief but we're like oh it, it, it's over what yeah what the fuck? i mean just we just we don't really know what to do with ourselves because we, we like we're going to be on we're going to be in our houses but we don't have to revise so what we're we going to be doing obviously people say we still should just in case but i don't know but we're in quarantine it's not even like it's like oh yes like we're out of school like but are we yeah. even allowed out? Oh, like, can we even go and see our friends or are we just stuck inside? And for if you live in two houses, which house are you going to be stuck in? Because I don't know if I should be at my dad's or my mum's, so yeah. it's a difficult one. It's, it doesn't help that the people on the news are, they're not being calm, they're talking to it like in a big panicky manner which makes everyone all scared, no one knows what to do with themselves, but I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs>